Hi everyone, today's headlines. 20 cadres surrender with arms before Manipur Chief Minister. The PDA government is committed to all round development and progress by Pangyo. Deputy CM inaugurates Chukitung Block Community Hall Woka. NSUA Nagaland Unit to stage a protest against unemployment in Dimapur. Naga girl passed away at Jodhpur, mortal remains to reach Dimapur. 2 million vaccine doses delivered in a day. Shoot till they are dead. Some Myanmar police says fled to India after refusing orders. News in details. 20 cadres surrender with arms before Manipur Chief Minister. A total of 20 cadres from different outfits have surrendered with arms and ammunition before the Chief Minister of Manipur and Biran Singh at a homecoming ceremony held at Banquet Hall at First Manipur Rifle Complex Impal on Tuesday, March 9, 2021. The Chief Minister handed over the financial assistance to the surrendered militant under the revised scheme of surrenders come rehabilitation of militants in the Northeast states. 2018 of the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India. The PDA government is committed to all round development and progress by Pangyo. The Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pangyo formed during the inauguration of three primary health centers under Longlang District in Nagaland on Tuesday said that the PDA government is committed to for all round development and progress. Pangyo stated, Fulfilling the dreams of our people, I am happy to have inaugurated PHC at Sakshi, Pongo and Namching. Deputy CM inaugurates Chukitung Block Community Hall Voka. The Deputy Chief Minister of Nagaland, Y. Peton, inaugurated a community hall at Chukitung Town under Voka yesterday, coinciding with his tour of 37 new assembly constituency consisting of 21 villages. The community hall was donated, Deputy CM a press release said. Chukitung Range consists of Chukitung Town and five villages during the day-long visit to villages. The Deputy CM met with the public, village councils, elders and party workers. NSUI Nagaland Unit to stage a protest against unemployment in Dimapur. The National Students' Union of India, Nagaland Unit informed that it is organizing a protest against the rising unemployment in the state on Wednesday. The President NSUI Nagaland Unit, Chopika, informed about the protest yesterday. The proposed protest is scheduled to take place at supermarket in Dimapur from 9 a.m. onwards on March 10, 2021. As part of the protest against unemployment, NSUI Nagaland said, Come and have free pakoda and chai. Naga girl passed away at Jodhpur. Mortal remains to reach Dimapur. A Naga girl passed away at Methodist Hospital Jodhpur on Monday, March 8, 2021, after falling from the terrace at her sister's residence. The disease is identified as Miss Kakke, a resident of Jaluki B. Parent, Nagaland, daughter of Api and Apili. As per sources, she was 17 years old and was on a visit to her sister's place. The president of Naga Student Union, Rajasthan, informed that the disease along with her sister and friends will will be reaching Delhi around 9 a.m. in an ambulance. From there, the disease will be taken to Nagaland by flight and expected to reach Dimapur around 3 p.m. 2 million COVID-19 vaccine doses delivered in a day for the first time. India delivered more than 2 million coronavirus vaccine doses in a single day for the first time, the government said in a statement citing a briefing by the health secretary to top officials, amid efforts to further accelerate the campaign by federal as well as state officials. The Prime Minister Principal Secretary P.K. Mishra chaired a review meeting with the chief secretaries of all states and union territories as well as top officials from ministers and Department of Health pharmaceutical biotechnology and niti ayog the high level meeting reviewed several aspects of the vaccination drive and state where asked to prepare a detailed roadmap for the next three months in order to maximize the coverage shoot till they are dead some myanmar police say they flew to india after refusing order when Tapeng were ordered to shoot at protesters with his submachine gun to disperse them in the Myanmar town of Kampet on February 27, the police lance corporal said he refused. The next day, an officer called to ask him if I wish, if I will shoot, he said the 27-year-old refused again and then resigned from the force. On March 1, he said 
he left his home and family behind in Kampet and traveled for three days, mostly at night to avoid detection, before crossing into India's Mizoram. I had no choice, Tapeng told Reuters in an interview on Tuesday. Speaking via a translator, he gave only part of his name to protect his identity. Reuters saw his police and national ID cards which confirmed the name. That's all for now. To get such news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.